Snoop and Cubby back with the best four for doing reaction, man. Po, po. We got that nigga Big Mike. I don't know who Big Mike is, but he's snitching on Vine. Never heard of the nigga like <laughs> these niggas be coming out the woodworks. Nigga snitching on Vine, oh, of crazy. course. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, but living in Oakland crazy, bro. Man, like that's the motherfucking. Man. You talk about the trenches? trenches? They, they all just in apartment buildings, bro, just they, all, they all in niggas. For they life. They oh, said niggas pissing in the, in the hallways. I'm old brother of man. Big Mike's Roach name probably was cemented in Chicago drill I mean, history no and made no, uh, infamous <laughs> deliveries on Chicago's <laughs> most notorious <laughs> legend. Niggas <laughs> gotta go get that <laughs> shit. Get that so shit. You crazy leaving, leaving at 2 o'clock in the morning. You're crying. He's even hungry no more. I ain't hungry at all. was only 19 years old when he was officially charged. Got arrested together. May 29th, 2014. In Chicago's Inglewood neighborhood, there was a birthday party for 20-year-old LaVon Eberhai, who was more commonly known as CJ. King Vaughn was in attendance as Vaughn and CJ were they both from Killerwood. Killing it. it could be seen in multiple pictures together. According to a witness statement by Lamenda Jones, CJ's mother, she tells Chicago detectives she saw Vaughn standing near the front gate of her house looking at three guys on her porch like something wasn't right. She told him, home, bro. Like, what, bro? like what, bro? Like what? You just looking at him. Like, what's wrong with this man? Like, what was wrong with him, bro? He's a demon. Just <laughs> like this, that is real life. Some devilish shit. What folks. the fuck is he on? What, bro? Like, what did he? No. <laughs> and then look how he looking. He was, mean as a bitch. You know, like, Nah, what is she talking about? And then they said he was in pictures with the nigga. I hope he ain't saying he killed According him. to a witness statement by Lamenda Jones, CJ's mother, she tells Chicago detectives she saw Vaughn standing near the front gate of her house looking at three guys on her porch like something bro, was that's right. some. That's like some Michael Myers shit. Bro. Exactly. You just looking at him. Bro, what? Staring them down. Oh, this nigga was he he was from he was from he was from down there for real. I'm telling you, that nigga has some, some demons in him. Like that is crazy. That ain't normal. Like you beef with this nigga, bro, you like <laughs> you beef with this nigga bro. I don't know. Trying to, to lead the house. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you damn near better make sure he don't know where you live and bro. all. No, he's sick. <laughs> no, he just. I get this picture of little boy just like, what the fuck is wrong? Like, <laughs> I'm really thinking he Michael Myers. I'm freaked the fuck out. Somebody go beat that nigga ass or something. Bro, what, bro? Like, no way. And she said he just was staring. Three of us. He's staring us all down. Like, just what the fuck, bro? Like, can I help you? This is over literally. What's up, bro? He probably ain't say nothing. Yeah, he's just looking. <laughs> No, bro. <laughs> like, that's freaky as hell. No. That's, no. Like, she told him, don't stop no mess in my house. Meaning, don't stop gangbanging at her house. Because she knew Vaughn was a member of a gang, and the people on the porch were members of different gangs. She told the detective King Vaughn smiled as he replied, I'm not on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. This motherfucker yeah. right here, bro. I'm not on that with a smile. <laughs> like, dog. No, he was different, bro. He's, yeah. Bro. That's no, a different bro. breed. That's a... This nigga smiled and said, I'm not on that, bro. What the fuck do you mean? You, you was saying. <laughs> bro, what was bro. Like, what, bro? Yeah, he thought this shit was a game, bro. And literally, this is GTA to him. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he wasn't. Bro, hell no. Bro. And this was a, a human, folks. Like, that's what make it crazy. This was a, a human acting this bizarre. I don't know, bro. It's fucking demonized. Like, what? I would leave the body. CJ's mom was cooking for about 15 minutes before gunfire erupted. 15 minutes later? Away. Bro! His mom like, what? What? Mom would leave the potty. CJ's mom you lied and say you not on that and you minutes before gunfire Bro, arrived. that is crazy. Making her way outside, she observed a young man who'd been shot in the head laying face down in the grass. Oh my god. She saw what? another man crawling across the street, bleeding everywhere. He killed all three of them niggas? <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> One shot in the head, one crawling. Oh, what the fuck is this nigga on, bro? No, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> no. 
No, like what? Nigga just say I'm not on that and next thing you know we oh, shot. No, bro. No, that's Bro, sick. you saw boys in the hood, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> trying to think of what movie was it when they was like when the nigga was in the back seat he was like let me out the car when they was gonna go slide on some yeah that's boys in the hood that is boys that's in the hood <laughs> <laughs> that nigga let him out that nigga when they was gonna slide on them after that what the oh, fuck oh man that's how that's how some of these niggas need to be man but it's, no this shit not funny the bro. niggas who was on the porch why is y'all still sitting there y'all see a nigga staring <laughs> y'all down Y'all want to be so bro, tough. But this is not a movie, bro. Exactly. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. We had two options. Obviously, we don't need to be tough if he thinking he could take all three of us. He must got something we don't got. Bro, this is a real life. Bro, this shit, like, this is, like, right now, like, on some, like, what so the we, fuck? You just chilling at a party. Because it was a party. Oh, this nigga is We funny. all came to a party. Came to party with the ops, apparently. Cause one of them in the head, one crawling. Oh, this what, bro? <laughs> yeah, that is crazy, bro. And just to think about these niggas was this 2014. So what he died at 26, 2014, 10 years ago. How old was he? He died in 2020 though. So he was 26 in 2020. He was 20. So seven years before that, he was probably 18, 19. Yeah, 18, 19. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. On scene at 6.15 p.m., finding the man who'd been crawling with a gunshot to his face and another gunshot to his leg. He was identified by police as Marquis Carpenter, a gangster disciple from Jaro City who was transported to Stroger Hospital from the scene. A second victim, Timothy Robinson, was shot in the foot and able to transport himself to St. Bernard Hospital. Police you going, guys? Third Police. victim, identified as 19-year-old Malcolm Stuckey, That's the one was pronounced God. dead at the scene. His, fucking daytime His body lay like, face down in the so grass, and in the was pronounced dead at the scene. Oh His body identified as 19-year-old Malcolm Stuckey, bro. was pronounced dead at the scene. It was 6.15 p.m., bro. His body lay face oh. down in the grass. So they didn't get there till the daytime. Oh, this nigga is crazy, bro. Oh, yeah, because it's still early. It's still fucking early, yeah, bro. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, no, that is oh, sick. Oh, this nigga yeah, is... That is sick. It's broad daylight. Yeah, no, that is sick. Broad daylight. You done shot three niggas broad daylight. Yeah, daylight, bro. You over, you watching fucking Ops House just sitting there at in, in the daytime, bro. I ain't on none. Just 15 minutes later. Bro, if a nigga do some shit like shit. that, bro, like you said, it's something he got, bro. Man, like what? Like, bro, y'all got to. <laughs> we not sitting on a porch no more. Bro, like, what the fuck, Care bro? how tough we is. He he plotting. That's a plot right there. No, nah, and no. Nah. I literally, each and every one of us got hit too. Like, bro, this nigga. That is crazy. No. That is insane. Bro. That is That shouldn't be real. This shouldn't be something that's able to be talked about. Yeah, I don't think, bro, what the fuck, bro? RP. RP. Yes. And an autopsy would report a 40 caliber bullet was Dang. fired into his right ear, traveling through his neck before into exiting his right two inches ear? below his left ear. Another bullet would enter his back thigh oh and two gosh. more into his buttocks. Multiple what? 40 caliber shell casings would be left at the scene, along with a 9mm handgun loaded with 10 rounds. July 30th, three weeks after the party. Chicago police tactical team would take Big Mike into custody within Parkway Gardens, aka O Block. He'd be transported to the area central the office right. and placed inside of an interview. That's room. crazy. Oh, he really had his rights. The Big funny. Mike was showing yeah, a witness about he was there. He denied any participation at the party. But as time went on, Big Mike would tell a crazy story to detectives. Jasmine Mitchell called Mike, saying Vaughn needed him as muscle for backup. Vaughn got on the phone saying, oh, him and saying Vaughn. Say, way related, he did not initially go to the birthday party with whoever and Davon, as originally stated, way related on the 29th of May. He received a phone call from 
Damn, way related to inform him that Davon needed him as muscle for backup, then spoke with Davon, who related both he and were at a person's named House, I'm assuming. I don't get this shit out of my face. House for gathering Dayon. Davon related there were other males present at the gathering, giving him hard looks and whispering mungs and go back to the gathering with him as backup. Oh, so, yeah. So he left and came back, basically. Yeah, that's what he just said. 15 minutes, you put it. Vaughn got on the phone saying him and Jasmine were at the party. Oh, when these other guys started plotting, bro. What the fuck? And you said on the phone? Bro, this nigga was plotting, bro. Oh my gosh. He's different. Telling you. Bro, this nigga, he, bro, this nigga sat in front of somebody's house, bro. The mama say, stop. The mama say, get on my porch. We don't own, we don't say we ain't on that. He lied and say, nobody on that. He leaves 15 minutes. <laughs> Come back. Or actually, he hit somebody up. I yeah, hit somebody he up. back up for some muscle. I don't, I don't know who Jasmine is, but either way, they come back and shoot. Just all that, that all that happens. He got all that together just in after fifteen minutes. That's crazy. That's the that tables turn quick. Let's see, cause who is Jasmine? Vaughn got on the phone saying him and Jasmine were at the party. Him and Jasmine were at the party, so I don't know. When other guys started looking hard and whispering to each other, Vaughn wanted to go back, this time with Big Mike. Mike told detectives he was picked up only 10 minutes after the call. Jasmine was oh driving a grandfather's silver Oldsmobile when Mike got into the front seat as Vaughn sat in the back. Vaughn started telling him what happened when Vaughn asked him if he was decent. Mike told detectives Vaughn met was he on, and Mike told him he had a Glock 40 with 15 to 16 rounds. That's when. That's how he got picked up. The nigga let him use the, his yeah, gun. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking dummy. Dummy? Literally. Vaughn showed him his gun. Mike told detectives they drove back to where the party was at when Vaughn made a call asking if those guys were still out front. The, the person fuck? on the phone told oh, Vaughn not to come because one of the guys had a gun. Who's, who's the person talking to this nigga? Talking about, no, one of them got a gun. Why would you tell him that? Oh that would just bro. make him even geek there. Oh, my God. Bro. No, this little motherfucker right here, bro. He devious. No, he devious. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, he wasn't, dude wasn't supposed to, dude wasn't supposed to be rapping, bro. He wasn't. He really wasn't. His eyes, he, I don't know, maybe them bodies that he beat, he could have possibly. Mm -hmm. So that's crazy. Then he said, it's okay because we got two guns. Like what? But Vaughn would reply back saying, that's okay, we got two guns. And he hung up the call. Vaughn and Big Mike exited the vehicle and walked through a vacant lot to LaSalle Street before cutting through a gangway. Mike would tell detectives Vaughn was in the lead while Mike followed, saying neither one of them attempted to conceal their face. As they got to the end of the gangway, Big Mike saw a black man like Vaughn even, was in the lead. We ain't even putting no mask on, what? none. We just hotheads doing shit. You oh, no, just got a call 10 minutes ago and now we are, we've already finna go shoot at niggas. No. That's sick. That ain't normal. Like, like not on the fucking shit, but that it's ain't not, normal. It's not normal, bro. Like, like that's wild. It's like a movie, bro. Like, yeah, like I'm thinking about GTA. Like, we just did a mission. Bro, swear no to God, like, what the fuck, bro? Oh, that's crazy. In broad daylight. Broad daylight, six fifteen. My niggas just got out of school. This nigga, I don't know, bro. He was like this nigga was rare, bro. His ass was a psychopath, like they said. That is some psycho shit. No way. Well, Mike followed, saying neither one of them attempted to conceal their face. As they got to the end of the gangway, Big Mike saw a black male with long dreads wearing an orange shirt. Mike told detectives he later learned from Vaughn it was a man named Tim. 
Mike was staring as Tim stared back this nigga Mike before he turned and ran. Told the whole story. Mike told Mike. detectives that's when Vaughn chased him to the front of the house and opened fire. By the time Mike the made it fuck? to the front of the house, bro, no, he saw bro. Him and it ran. This nigga is not human, bro. Like, what? Is you chasing niggas <laughs> and still blink everybody up? Oh like, my what? God, this nigga is not normal, bro. Like, I don't even know what to say sometimes. <laughs> I really don't. Bro, this pro. And this is what people people think. The, the shit he was rapping about, he the coldest rapper ever. And this is all he was rapping about. Is what he, he, what what he, he was, was doing. Literally, the missions he... Missions that he would think he was doing, you know. That is sick. This is some psychopathic yeah, tendencies. No way. Mike was staring as Tim stared back before he turned and ran. Mike told detectives that's when Vaughn chased him to the front of the house and opened fire. By the time Mike made it to the front of the house, he saw one victim already laying face down in the grass. Mike saw Vaughn shooting at another guy yelling, why you running? Like, Mike would what, bro? <laughs> bro, somebody already did, bro. He's too and he's shooting at somebody else. Like, oh what? He don't gosh. care about them, the cops coming or nothing. No, bro. He want to kill everybody. Like, what? <laughs> that ain't cool, bro. <laughs> bro, this nigga, bro. That's what I'm saying. You be, for this, you be for this nigga, bro. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I, like, I'm, I'm in real, I'm terrified of how these niggas, like, just think about this. You just see this nigga. <laughs> y'all all at a party, though. It ain't like y'all came to be. Y'all all at a party. The party, bro. Next thing you know, you just see this nigga. Now he's mad because y'all at the party. Y'all at party, bro. And he come and call up somebody else. Pull up, Tim is in, in yard, shoot at y'all. Yeah, yeah, now we running. I, I just seen this nigga in front of us. I just ran to the back, and now I got to run back to the front because he's now, he, he not in the front no more. Oh, my God. Like, what? Now I'm getting shot. That is some crazy shit. That's some shit they couldn't even process. Niggas was just at a party. Bro, that's what I'm saying. This nigga, this nigga wasn't supposed to be rapping, bro. At all. He really wasn't. No, he's like getting he, in jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, no, Bob. No, nothing, bro. Get his ass gone. Because <laughs> what the fuck, bro? A maniac. A psych. That's some Jeffrey Dahmer just not bro, eating the I'm body. I'm telling you, bro, like. Bro, if he was like, bro, I feel like he wasn't around Dirk, bro. He he like he wouldn't been rapping. Yeah, he wouldn't have. He would have probably still been fucking add more bodies to the list. Bro, this nigga is wild, bro. Laying face down in the grass. Let me get to shooting these other niggas though. You not like you, bro? You not thinking? Damn, I'm tweaking. Yeah, I, all right. I I overdid it. All right, one day, let me get a pot. Of, no. I need to make sure that everybody feels the bullet. That is crazy. Because I got two guns. He got two guns. Mike saw Vaughn shooting at another guy yelling, Why you running? Why Mike you running? Mike wouldn't hit the detectives. That's when he started shooting. <laughs> Why you running? Oh, this what? He really think it's a game. <laughs> no, don't run. Don't run. Let me shoot at you. <laughs> what? Oh, what, bro? Not running? Oh well, uh, we see he don't. Yeah, we see he don't. Run. No, Actually, he don't run. Yeah, we see. Nope. He do the he do the chasing. Oh, this nigga, bro. No. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Honestly, it's like it's sick. It's it's really sick. I, he he was thinking on a deep different level, a demon level. Like this had to be what the what the Bible was saying. Oh yes, yes. Him firing fifteen to sixteen shots. Mike told detectives he knew he shot him because he saw him stumbling as he ran. With his gun now empty, Mike turned and ran down the gangway while he could still hear Vaughn firing. Vaughn then came up behind him and eventually down the alley. Mike told detectives he watched King Vaughn run two houses over and fire two more shots at the man that laid in the oh fucking bro. <laughs> bro, no, bro. This nigga, he was supposed to be in jail forever, bro. I'm telling you, like, niggas doing overkills now. You just see a nigga on the ground, you get to shooting at him. Yeah, he going to other houses and shooting again, bro. Like, what? 
No, he was supposed to be. He was, Throw away the key. Bro, no bond, no parole, no shit. Nothing. You get in the chair, bro. <laughs> bro, no, none of it. I think it's said he needs he, the penalty. He needs he need the chair, bro. This nigga is wild, bro. Yeah, that's sick. That ain't even it ain't no like you know when somebody kills somebody they feel sorry yeah for, they freaked no, out no this nigga is crazy he's bro. just happy that that was a thrill to him no it's no way he should have been out bro right yeah i don't know that, that's the law i mean that's the justice system no, bro oh nah, yeah that's crazy and they and big mike told them that they still got out exactly like what then big mike out right now that's what's even crazier like, oh, yeah, this shit is all I don't know. Mike could see the victim was bleeding from the mouth. That's when they ran back to the car while Jasmine struggled to unlock the car doors. Mike told the detective... Everybody, ner everybody that fucking nervous with bombs. Exactly, yeah, everybody nervous. Set bomb. In Lake Michigan. He then said he didn't know any of the individuals at the scene. The state attorney's office would charge Big Mike with one count of first-degree murder and two attempted murders. Fucking dummy. King Vaughn was already in prison on a parole violation, and the day after Big Mike was charged, Vaughn would be transferred from prison to the interview room. King Vaughn waived his rights and denied any knowledge of the incident. Vaughn denied knowing Jasmine and Big Mike, but said he knew CJ yeah. from grade school no, no, and denied no. being at the birthday party. Shown photos of Jasmine and Mike, Vaughn once again denied knowing them. Marquise Carpenter identified King Vaughn oh, as the man. person that shot him in the leg and face. He told detectives him Damn. and his friend went over to the house to celebrate CJ's birthday. Nigga was alive so after getting shot in the face, folks. Bro. I identified him as the person that shot me in the face. King Vaughn as the person that shot him in the leg and face. He told detectives him and a friend went over to the house to celebrate CJ's birthday. Shortly after, a female and King Vaughn arrived in a silver car. While sitting on the porch, he saw Vaughn having a conversation at the front of the house when Vaughn went to the car, put a gun in his front pocket, and placed his shirt over it. Vaughn and CJ went into the basement of the home, and Marquise overheard Vaughn say, What you doing hanging with these op ass? Marquise told detectives he's a gangster disciple, and later found out Vaughn was a black disciple. Vaughn would stay in the basement for around five minutes before leaving, and that's when Malcolm Stuckey arrived. They were going to play basketball at a park when Marquise noticed all the small kids were being called inside of the house. That's when CJ appeared at the basement door, oh, telling them to come bro. to him. And you Malcolm was by the front, lighting a blunt, when Marquise heard Tim say, there go them. Marquise then saw Vaughn in the gangway, but the black hoodie pulled tight around his face. He saw a black handgun in his hand and another person behind him, so they started running. Oh, that's so, when gun okay, the nigga talking to is the first person that got shot, and yeah. he stayed alive. Yeah. Damn, you would think because he was the closest to get yeah. shot, like he would be the one dead first. I'm thinking he died, but whole times somebody else died. Damn. So he watched all this shit happen. Watch watched all this shit happen, bro. I wonder if he was the one crawling on the ground across the probably street. Probably, yeah, probably, yeah. Gunfire erupted. He ran to oh, a vacant lot where he was shot in the leg but still made his way into an alley. That's when he saw Vaughn at the other end of the alley and he ran again, looking back to see Vaughn aiming the gun at him when Vaughn fired twice and he was shot in the face. Marquise hit the ground telling detectives he had a 9mm handgun in his back pocket, but thinks it fell out at this time. He'd get back up, running across the street <coughs> until police arrived. Yeah. King Vaughn's friend, CJ, would be interviewed right there. by detectives he multiple times. He told detectives at the party, someone told him Vaughn called saying he was coming back after leaving. CJ told him to call Vaughn again and tell him not to come. The person would make the call, telling Vaughn there was children outside, but Vaughn would say, I'm coming back to get the children in the oh house. CJ went to warn the others on the porch, but before he could, the gunfire erupted. Oh, the man yeah, who called King Vaughn would voluntarily get do an interview with police, saying he told Vaughn days after the shooting he was bogus for shooting people while CJ's family was out there. Vaughn now you want to tell me I'm not. Yeah, I told him days later he was bogus. Bro, you let this man call you, and 10 minutes later, you're there. 
What do you mean? If, if he was super bogus, why you go through with it so quickly? This shit happened in th- 20, 30 minutes. Bro, not even a fucking, like, it's not even a day of, of work, bro. Yeah, like, come this on, bro. Like some... No, I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> just for him, he just pissed me off. Just now, now, now the nigga's bogus. Bro, why didn't you tell him? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, he would have probably been like, yeah, I am tweaking. I am tweaking. No, that, that nigga probably was scared of him. Scared of him, exactly. That That's the problem. You scared of this nigga, nigga so he doing If he would have been like, thing. nigga, if he would have been like, no, I, I, we ain't on that right now. That nigga Vaughn would have probably got on his ass. I'll right, kill you next. <laughs> yeah, you just stay where you at. <laughs> it's cool. I don't need no muscle. You stay right where you at. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, that is crazy. <laughs> no, you don't move. I right, have my cousin says, bro, then it would have shot bro too, bro. What the fuck is wrong with him? Like what, bro? No, yeah, that is crazy. Nah, nah bro, this shit wild. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Somebody needs. He ain't got no older brother, <laughs> nothing like old <laughs> big, big cousin. <laughs> Somebody needed to tell him something. <laughs> <laughs> like this ain't cool. Bro, nobody tell this nigga nothing, bro. I bet you this nigga's all like forty fight. They can't talk. They can't, bro. They like let this nigga be. <laughs> Just let him be, bro. Ain't no getting in his ear. <laughs> you seen what he did to the last old. <laughs> We've been trying for years. No, bro, this is fucking crazy, bro. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, shit. Before CJ's family was out there. Vaughn would reply back saying, they going to come after me now? Vaughn would be officially charged with first degree murder and two attempted murders after being identified by multiple people, including his friend CJ. Still got out. And still be. Mike. In fact, nobody gave a better description than Big Mike who claimed to see Vaughn start shooting, and by the time Mike made it to the front of the house, Malcolm Stuckey was already Had dead, a sick implying fuck, Vaughn killed him. Mike would then say he saw Vaughn firing at the second victim, who would later say Vaughn shot him in the face and leg. The only person Mike would admit the shooting was Tim, who was only shot in the foot and was the least wounded victim. Everything else was put on Vaughn. August 13th, 2017. LaVon Everhart, or CJ, was standing outside at 6.52 in the morning when a black vehicle approached. Damn, they came back to get that nigga. (laughs) Four years later, folks? Wait, bro. Wait, bro. Wait, bro. CJ who got shot in the foot? That's why you should have let this man free, bro. Exactly. Like, what? (laughs) No way. Four years later. (laughs) Are you not thinking, damn, bro, I already shot the nigga, bro. <laughs> Let me leave these niggas be. Bro, oh my God. Four years <laughs> later. You not tell me he finna be shot dead. That's not what you finna tell me. No, it can't be, bro. All right. <laughs> All right. Four years later. Bro. So, oh, okay, so four years later. If he was 18, 19 doing that, so now he's still... 22, 23. Young, bro. Still. still doing the same shit. Yeah, let me. I just got out of jail. Let me go ahead and go pop this. Oh, no, you really just got in jail? Bro, what the? Like, what? <laughs> oh, let me go kill this nigga. He put me there. Yes, bro. That's not, yes, that's not how you thinking, bro. Like, no, bro. I'm gonna go for you, snitch. I'm gonna go kill you. Bro. Yeah, it's time to kill you, big guy. I already shot you in the jail. foot. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> The foot shot ain't You mad, you, you mad, I told her, you, you shot me. And you shot me. So now I'm finna come back. At a party that I was invited to. I was to. invited to. Actually, that was my family. Actually, I forgot. That was a part of his family. So that you mad mom. at me for telling their ass, you shot me. With so my little you, siblings and brothers and around. And you finna come after me and kill me. Uh-huh. Bro, what the fuck? I don't, I, I don't even know what I can say. Because his, his thinking got to be a, a delusion. His thinking got to be August delusion. August 13th, 2017. LaVon Everhart, or CJ, was standing outside at 6.52 in the morning. In the when morning. When a black vehicle approached. 
a man in a black hooded sweatshirt exited the vehicle, opened fire, and struck CJ twice in the chest. 40 minutes later, CJ would be pronounced dead at the hospital. King that Vaughn would be crazy. acquitted at trial on all charges in December of 2017 after spending over three years. How the fuck is he being free? And then he beat everything in December of 2017. They just said that nigga died in August. Bro. King Vaughn would be acquitted at trial on all charges in December of 2017 oh after God, spending like over three after, years bro. in the Cook County oh, Jail. What? The reason being, Big Mike recanted his statement and refused oh, to testify. Oh, he beat Big Mike ass in jail. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he beat Big Mike. So they had all this evidence, and then they said, oh, no, he, Big Mike was lying. <laughs> he got to be free now. This is crazy, bro. No, yeah. Even though somebody else said yeah, yeah. Out, Like, what? And what they going to kill his ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So both the witnesses is now yeah, gone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, damn, that is how the law works. Oh Fuck. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. This is real-life power. <clears throat> yeah. So, actually, it, it's not good. I'm, I'm not going to say it's good. Yeah, it's not good at all, but, <laughs> but he, he, he got something yeah, in his head. He did right. Because <laughs> if he wasn't what they'll kill that nigga. Yeah, it's he, over. Yeah, he was over. He wouldn't be in it, Bubby. So, is this shit really was like, like everything you see in a game in the movie, this nigga was really doing that he, shit. They was really acting it out. Like, you gonna snitch on me? Okay, I'm finna come kill you. Yeah, I gotta get all the witness going now. Oh, my God. Big Mike damn near, all these jail fights probably yeah. was Big Mike probably getting beat up one of them times. Like, whole time. Knocking niggas out, whole time one of those probably was Big Mike. And he needed to go ahead and let me know. That wasn't me. You right. These, all these niggas probably was scared. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Like, this nigga was like, bro... You can you can say him shit. No, don't go do that, bro. He not, bro. He beating you, your ass, bro. And you still finna be out there with him, bloody nose and all. No, oh, yeah, that is crazy, bro. Against Vaughn at trial, Big Mike would also be acquitted of murdering Malcolm and shooting Marquise, which he originally placed on Vaughn. But Mike would be convicted of shooting Timothy in the foot, which he admitted to. For that. He'd receive a 28-year prison sentence Damn. for aggravated battery with the fire round. What the Wrong. fuck? Whoa. So, hold up, wait, wait, what the fuck? Damn. They let this nigga run free? Let him free. And gave that nigga 28 for aggravated battery. Oh, my God. No, I ain't never even heard no shit like that. Damn. I know he damn near cried. Bro. Yeah, you shouldn't have read that because you took that statement back. They was trying to show you a lesson. <laughs> no, yeah. I would mention Big Mike in a song titled What's Next. A nigga told on me before he got a longer sense. A nigga told on me before he got a longer sense. I think they gave him 2080 rather talk than this. I think they gave him 2080 rather talk than this. Bitch was the only one that told they killed the other witness. Bitch was the only one that told they killed the other witness. Now, Big Mike would appeal his conviction and be released in 2023 making his first appearance on DJU. Not shying away from any question, Big Mike would claim he didn't entirely snitch, but instead was willing to take a chance that Vaughn wasn't. Big Mike wanted to claim self-defense, stating the victims opened fire on him first, to which he, he returned he fire. But apparently, he you can't claim self-defense when you leave and come back. <laughs> That's not how. You wasn't trying to claim self-defense telling him, oh, he called me to come get muscle. Like, no, I don't, no. And say he didn't snitch. That's yeah, said. yeah, I didn't snitch. No, I'm trying to claim so. Nah, I ain't snitch. I just told them that Brian shot this person. <laughs> he went in this house, he killed, shot this. Uh, he, Somebody he, laid on the ground, he kept shooting. Literally. I, I just finally shot. I just finally shot. Niggas dead already. They dead already. I ain't snitch, snitch though. Yeah, no, no I ain't it wasn't me. That. It wasn't me. <laughs> Look out. They should have gave it. Should have made him do the whole twenty-eight. The whole fucking twenty-eight, bro. You fucking dummy. Yeah. Victims opened fire on him first, to which he returned fire. But apparently, DJU is the only place Mike said this. 
Not once in Mike's appeal did it mention self-defense at all. And not once in his police interrogation did it mention self-defense. He flat out just told the crazy story of Vaughn calling him for backup, Literally Vaughn up. popping off the triple shooting, Vaughn dropping Malcolm before dropping Marquise, and he Vaughn firing two yeah, more times at Marquise. Oh, he got so much information on the whole statement. And Vaughn admitted to participating in the shooting, and when it came to it, told everything that happened to police, which would be the definition of a snitch. This ain't snitch. Real. What Big Mike's appeal did highlight was how the police broke him. According to the appeal, Mike was held in the interrogation room for over 30 hours and repeatedly questioned by several detectives. They tell Mike to minimize his role by incriminating Vaughn before Vaughn incriminates him. They implied if Mike spoke with them, the courts would consider his cooperation while determining a more lenient sentence. He'd be given McDonald's and cigarettes by detectives trying Dave to make him uh, comfortable, but they'd McDonald's also bro. sit inches away from him <laughs> or stand over him. <laughs> little five dollars made him snitch. Right. Him a big These tactics first. would lead to Big Mike's confession, but also his appeal, because law enforcement obtained his statements through police coercion. But that part of his appeal would be denied, as the courts found his statements to be voluntary. Big Mike's appeal win came from the courts reducing his charge of aggravated battery with a firearm to aggravated discharging of a firearm for shooting at Tim. The lesser charge oh, was so a lesser that that statements to be like this. But that part of his appeal would be denied as the yeah. courts found his statements to be voluntary. Big Mike's appeal win came from the courts reducing his charge of aggravated battery with a firearm oh, to aggravated mean. discharging of a firearm for shooting at Tim. A lesser charge would result in a lesser sentence, and therefore his release. So while Big Mike snitched on Vaughn, Mike still had nothing but respect for Vaughn and never spoke down on him during his interview. Because you're scared the story of story between the two is just another crazy story out of the city of Chicago. Now my thoughts on this situation. I saw a lot of people react yeah, to Big Mike's story. interview. Listen to the song. Man, what song was that again? I gotta I go listen just, to it again. I think it's just the first crazy story, I think. The song titled, What's Next? What's a nigga told on me before he got a longer sense. A nigga told on me. What's next? Yeah, I gotta listen to that. You know, I don't listen to it long. Yeah, I don't either. That's tough, man. Oh Another crazy, crazy mm -hmm. story with Vaughn, like they say. Mm -hmm.